Wow, it's Mathex Emo Encore event here at their European headquarters in Worcester, bringing all of that technology over from Emo Hanover. Now, as a team, we have never seen that many brand new machines at a Mazak open house event before. So we have chosen our top five highlight machines to bring to you today. So welcome to one exciting Swarf and Chip show. is the CB5 500, a five axis machine that has got it all, full simultaneous as standard, designed here and manufactured in the UK. So Mark, we're looking at the CB5 500. Now, I'm told this is a very, very affordable machine. This is new from Mazak, uh, but it's got some really uh, good, strong characteristics about it. So is there a catch if it's very, very affordable, but yet highly specified? We don't think there is, actually. We think we've come up with a, a really interesting machine that will attract a lot of customers, from customers that are making their first steps with five axes, and for other customers who are looking for a machine with very stable and accurate cutting performance. Let's talk about that stability and the cutting performance. Talk us quickly through the build of the machine. Well, this is unique in its category because it's a bridge type construction. And the bridge type construction is synonymous with high rigidity, and from the high rigidity, we gain high accuracy. But also, because of the unique way in which the Y axis passes underneath the column, it makes the machine a very small footprint. And again, for today's customers, um, floor area is a very important factor. And, and what sort of size of component can you get on here? What's the swing? I know it's a 500 table, but you can go beyond that, can't you, part size? We can machine a component in four five axes up to 500 millimetres in diameter and 320 millimetres high. But you can actually mount a bigger component than that. You can, you can go up to 442 millimetres in height. So for you guys here, before we wrap this up, and there's plenty more videos on the CNC channel uh, aimed at the technical advancement of this, but who's the market and the audience for this, Mark? Well, we believe any customer that's looking for, for a five axis machine with value, but also looking for a, a compact floor, floor space and also looking for really to machine components accurately. See, I told you it has it all. Now, you may think all of that technology is out of your price bracket, then think again and make sure you're getting in touch with Mazak. Now, in at number two is an Integrex. Mazak were the first company to bring us multitasking machines. Therefore, it made the birth of the Integrex. So the next up is an Integrex, but not as you know it, redesigned from the ground up. So Mark, this is the Integrex i450HST, but it's not just the machine, is it? It's, this is a whole cell. W why have you developed this in this way? Yeah, this is the new Mazak Autoflex cell, and this is really interesting for customers, especially customers that would manufacture perhaps a high mix of components in low volume, and they're looking to eradicate the typical setup times, and they're looking to get more productivity and work through the unsociable hours. Now, as Lindsay said, you were fir the first to market with multitasking technology many, many years ago, um, but you've taken it now to the, le the next level. The multitasking machine is about completing a part in one hit, but then traditionally an operator would have to load that machine and take that finished part off. You've now eradicated that as well. well that's right. What we, what we know about is multitasking has a variety of uh, advantages from reducing uh, setup time, from machining complex operation to in-wall operation. But really the drive in the market at the moment is for productivity. So this machine has been designed to give more productivity with many new features, including the new lower turret design, but also really for, it's been designed purposely with the advent of automation. Uh, now there is, without going into masses of detail, there's quite a few changes on the machine. Can you just tell us what those are in order to make it uh, more universal for this type of solution? Um, yeah, tell us the, the changes on the Integrex. Well, we've completed an incredible trio of advantages here. The first one is the overall footprint size has been reduced. The second one is the working capacity in the machine has been increased. And the third one is that the rigidity and performance of the machine has been increased. Now, along with that, we've got a new compact uh, mill spindle. 
We've got a new lower turret design in line with the upper turret and we've got some other advantages on the machine in terms of the smooth AI control that's going to bring a whole raft of features that will benefit our customers. So there you have it, evidence of Mazak listening to their customers and making significant improvements. Now don't forget we've got a cycle time challenge happening later on, an artificial intelligence one, and you can win a Swarf and Chips goodie bag. Now in at number three, we're sticking with your Integrex machines. So if you're brand new to gear cutting, or you're a gear cutting connoisseur, and want an off the scale level of accuracy, speed, and ease of programming, then watch this space. Mark. The Integrex i200 ST AG making its UK debut. Now, this Integrex has been developed from the ground up predominantly for the manufacturing of specialised gears. But why have Mazak gone to the nth degree to produce this new technology? Well, gear manufacturing is a very precise requirement and the machine requires some high tech features. Also, the type of gear being manufactured is changing as well. We're seeing gear forms becoming more complex and the machine is really designed to meet those needs. What is unique about this Integrex? What benefits would the end user get from this technology? Well, the first is to be able to produce gears at high speed. So the machine incorporates some very sophisticated um, synchronization software and hardware that enables the mill spindle and the, the, uh, the turning spindle to be synchronized but also the advantage for the customer would be that it can change over rapidly between workpieces and also the CNC assists the operator with an easy conversational 10 minute programming for gear forms. There you have it, the evolution of the Integrex machine, probably the most successful of your multitasking machines ever made. In at number four is artificial intelligence. Now, you and I would probably think that's a thing of the future, but not for Mazak, and it could be in your machine shop very soon. Let's find out. So AI Greg is here, but how does it work using a CNC machine tool? Well, the brilliant thing about the use of artificial intelligence in the control is we can utilize that function to make programming faster. We can utilize that function to remove vibration from a spindle and we can also utilize those functions for helping with thermal displacement in machining. So um, almost like drag and drop programming as well, so t trying to take some of the skill away from the, the operator. Well our solid Mazatrol programming uses AI, yes, and it uses that in the, in the way that when you've programmed a part, the control actually learns the way you programmed that part, so when you're producing subsequent parts, it knows your preferred process. And that's one of three pillars. What, what are the other two? Well, the other two pillars are our digital twinning, so the ability to take a copy of the machine tool and move it into the office environment. So we're not talking about just moving programs, we're talking about moving programs, fixture data, tooling data, solid models, everything you need to actually efficiently program your machine tool can be transferred to the office, and then when the program's completed from the office, back to the machine tool. And the final one? And the automation. So we've made a big strive forwards in making connecting robots to our Mazak machines much, much simpler and much more fluid and easy for operators to do. It, it sounds incredible to me. We're going to do something a little different here. Typically we do a cycle time challenge. Today it's a programming challenge. So for an, maybe a medium to advanced user, how long are you using standard Mazatrol? And obviously you can't give us the answer, but you know, how, how does it work using AI? So using standard Mazatrol, we'd expect somebody skilled in the art to be able to produce a program for this particular part in around 40 to 45 minutes. 40 to 45 minutes, to be honest, that sounds pretty good. But how long do you think using Mazatrol AI, how quick? Get your guesses in. I've snuck into the Integrex i450HST automation cell, but I just wanted to show you the part that Joe was just talking about, and it's just here. Now this multifaceted part took 40 to 45 minutes to program originally. How long did it take now on the smooth AI control? Put your guesses in the comments box below to win a Swarf and Chips goodie bag. In at number five, if you're after higher power, higher capacity and higher productivity with your sheet metal, look no further than the Optiplex 3 3015. Ian, this is the third generation of the Optiplex. What's new? All right, yes, you are correct. Yes, yeah, so the 
The Optiplex has been around for approximately 10 years now. And it's a machine that's really put Maslak on the map in terms of build quality and, and cut quality. The third generation has the, the new control, so very intuitive features on there. A lot more automatic material setup and monitoring when it's running. It also has the second generation of Mazak's torch, so actually designed and manufactured by Mazak. A lot of new features in there to aid cut quality and also make it easy for the operator to monitor the temperature stability of that torch. One of the main benefits for a user is the fact this machine is now 15% quicker than the previous generation. And with 10 kilowatts as well? Yeah, and now it's got 10 kilowatts, so you know, very thick cut capacity, up to 35 millimetre in many materials. And talk us through this little barcode on the side, it's a good, good idea, the QR code. Yeah, so we're really demonstrating the, the automatic features I just talked about. So customers coming here today can simply choose the material they'd like to run out of about 20 different material types and thicknesses. They can then use the barcode scanner, click and then press go. And those two simple setups really de-skilling the operation, the machine will then cut the material they selected. Alan, I've got to say, this has been such a successful and really enjoyable show to be part of. Um, you know, what, why do you put on a show like this? It's been a real pleasure for us to host this event. And it's, as you say, it's been extremely vibrant. I think that's one of the reasons we put these events on, to get people to come to see the latest technology which can hopefully improve their businesses and, uh, and, and they can enjoy the benefits of our technology as they build their businesses into the future. Was it coincidental that you've had so many brand new kind of innovations come through at one time? How, how's that work? EMO is always a key development process for us, a de de development time and um, the EMO Encore is really our ability to bring those developments back to the UK. Most of our developments are led by our customers so it's natural that we bring them back to the UK where many of them are, are conceived. Silly question, we can all see that it's been successful, but how successful has it been? It's really exceeded our expectations in terms of the numbers of people that have been here and, and their interests. I mean, that's been the really pleasurable thing, the fact that they are so interested in new technology and how we can help them improve their business. So, yeah, a really successful show so far. Yeah, all positive for the industry. A highlight from yourself? I think the highlight for us has been really the, the, the interest in the new CV5500. A UK developed, UK manufactured product, which is so important for our facility here in Worcester, and interest in our laser products from a sheet metal point of view, and working together with our partners to develop hopefully solutions which our customers can benefit from. Just to conclude, you know, it's December now. How's the year for Mazak been for you? It's been extremely strong for us, and perhaps that's probably counterintuitive to the current situation politically and economically, but we've really enjoyed success. And I think that's because we operate in such key markets like aerospace, uh, oil and gas, the medical sector, and the high-end automotive sector. So we've really enjoyed the benefits of their position within the UK manufacturing scene. Yeah, um, you know what, I really feel like from Mazak and what I've learned today is Mazak are really listening to what's going on in the industry and improving what they can, their end for everybody watching. Thank you so much, Alan. So there you have it, another successful year for Mazak and an extremely busy event. So, gents, what were your highlights? Uh, for me, the new 5-axis machine and the Integrex, this one behind us here, or well, in front of us rather, with the Autoflex cell, outstanding. Oh, of course, the AI control as well. Oh, yeah. Artificial intelligence, that's what you've got, or no intelligence, one of the two. Um, I, I have to concur with Joe. I think the 5-axis, the new 5-axis machine, I look, I've looked at that uh, loads today and I can't stress enough that how popular I think that's going to be in the UK market. I think it fits in, in, in all areas, subcontracts, uh, original equipment manufacturers, it, it's a really good machine. Yeah, and Geo. Well I agree with both Joe and Paul but also the gear, pla the new, the, but he's not intelligent <laughs> Paul just said. The new gear uh, manufacturing platform is extremely impressive. Why? Lots of different reasons, speed, synchronisation, accuracy, ease of programming, lots of different elements that really make it, well, simplify the manufacturing of very complex gears. Yeah, you were really impressed when, after you'd done the interview. There you have it, Mazak's Emo Encore event. Highlights, thank you very much, gents. Don't forget to put your guesses in the comments box below for the Cycle Time Challenge, Soak AI Challenge as well. And gents, what do we always say at the end of the show? Keep those spindles turning. That was pathetic. <laughs>